into a ball. Uh, let me see, I say, let me see that. Hmm, how'd he do that? Yeah, that that's uh, for, uh, fan to, uh, that's fan to, uh, fan to, uh, to uh, that's neat. Nothing to it, friends. Now, if you just let me show you this little number. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, may I help you? Yes, I'd like to buy a rabbit in the hat trick, please. Rabbit in the hat? That's right. I don't sell rabbits around here. Well, I've decided to become a magician, see, and everybody says I should get a rabbit. No, Doc. Rabbit's his old hat. All right. I'll have a rabbit in the old hat trick. What? Uh, an old rabbit in the hat, huh? Don't get poisonal. Oh. Well, what about that little house over there? Maybe there's a rabbit in there. I gotta go finish my uh, b b book about the press the digit press the digit magic tricks. Come back again uh, when you can spin longer. Now about that rabbit, could you maybe look in the back? Maybe you forgot one. All right, okay, oh, okay. Uh, let's see what we got back there. <laughs>
soldier. No rabbits. Well, maybe you could give me a few tips then. I mean, you are a master magician, aren't you? Well, uh, sure, but uh, yeah, okay. I'll help you. Uh, let's see your stuff. I think with a lot of work, uh, you might, uh, could be good enough. Really? Do you think I could ever play the Palace Theater? I've always dreamed of playing the Palace. Well, uh, I don't know. Please? Okay, you asked for it. One Palace Theater coming up. Rabbit Cadabra! Oh, boy. My dream come true, the Palace Theater. I'm going to be a star with top billing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Palace Theater is proud to present the newest star in the world of unprecedented prestidigitation, Mr. Mark Young. Thank you. 
some fun with that young fella who thinks he's a magician. I'll show him who's the real magician around here. version of a little place in the country. Oh. I come back here to relax. Just me and my faithful assistant, Taz. You mean the Tasmanian devil? I don't believe that. Remember, you gotta believe. That's the main thing. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, uh, maybe you'll believe this. Touch a subject. <laughs> Don't you think it's time I got an assistant? Keep your mind on the magic. Watch this. got there. Say, do you mind if I borrow that cage? Maybe I could get me a golden retriever or something. Uh, uh, may I remind you who's the magician around here? Oh. oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. There was this guy asking for you back at your magic shop. He said he wanted you to star in a big TV show or something. Oh, yeah? Really? Me? Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you pulling my leg? Well, like you said, you gotta believe. Yeah, you're right. I gotta go check this out. Hey, maybe it's Johnny Carson. Wow, TV. There. Now that he's gone, I can do some more magic on my own. Thank you, David. I'd like to get somebody up on stage with me. Is there anybody out there who'd like to learn how to be a magician? Nobody, huh? Oh, so hard to get a volunteer. How about the young lady? Okay, in the middle. <laughs> Climb up these stairs over here. Take your time, but hurry. Step right up to the top. Thank you for coming, and what is your name? Kelly. Kelly, step right over here. Stand on the big red X, okay? Where? There's no red X. That's a test. Oh. You pass. Right up here, okay? That's good. This is Kelly. Kelly, tell me. Have you ever seen the trick where a magician takes solid steel rings and links and unlinks them as if by magic? Uh -huh. That's good, Kelly, because this time, not only are you going to see it, you're going to perform it for all those people out there. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Yeah. It is. There are four rings in this trick, Kelly. This is ring number one. This one is ring number two. This is ring number three. And the last one is, of course, ring number four. Did you follow all that? Yeah. Easy so far, right? Right. Good. Kelly, can you tell me the number of this ring? One. One. Very good. No, you, one is right. You take ring number one. Now, Kelly, listen carefully. Can you tell me the number of this ring? Two. 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 Excellent. Examine your ring carefully, Kelly. Look it over there. Make sure there are no holes or openings in that ring whatsoever. Do you find any holes or openings in your ring, Kelly? That one here. Ah. 
Now you may laugh, but without that hole, this trick doesn't work. Very observant of you, Kelly. I've got one, too. Hold your ring just like this, Kelly. Two hands on one side. That's good. Raise it a little lower. Right. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Little mistake on my part. I meant lower it a little higher, right there. Now watch. On the count of three, solid steel through solid steel. Are you ready, Kelly? Pay attention, you're gonna do this in a minute. Hang on tight. One, two, and three, and there they are, solidly linked together. Would you like to learn how to do that, Kelly? Well, it's easy. Now, the second part of the trick is, of course, to take them apart. All you do is reach through, grab and pull, and they come apart just like that. You got it? Uh-huh. Good. I brought out four rings, Kelly. That's two for you, two for me to show you with. Turn around and face everybody. Take ring number one and ring number two and hold them on either side just like this, all right? Okay. One hand here and one hand there. Okay. One hand firmly grasping either side of the rings. <laughs> just like I've got them, okay, Kelly? Yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. Now, smile at everyone through the hole in the center, Kelly. A big smile. That may not seem important to you, but that's showbiz. Now, move them in a circle like this. You're doing great so far. Blow gently on the rings. No, please don't spit. <laughs> You'll rust the rings. But if you blow gently and drop one, they should come together just like that. Watch your feet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very good, Kelly. That's very good. You ever done this before? No. That's good. Here, let's move up a little bit. Right there, good. Kelly, to take them apart, hold them in your outstretched left hand with one ring hanging down your other left hand. Good. Now, spin the bottom ring. Then turn them over, spin the top ring on the bottom to prove there are no openings in either ring. Excellent. Put them back in your left hand, Kelly. Reach through the top hole, grab a hold of the bottom ring, and pull. They'll come right apart. Oh, yeah? To put them back together, Kelly, take them and knock them on top of each other like this, and they'll go right together again, just like that. That's easy. Look at that. She's done it already. Very good, Kelly. Kelly, I want to show you the tough one now. Okay. This next one's a little harder. All right, hold them in your outstretched left hand again. This time, pull back on the bottom ring just like a bow and arrow. Now, when I say three, spin that ring around, stick your hand through it as fast as you can. They'll come right apart. Can do that. Yeah, you can. Spin it around like this, stick that hand through that hole. It's real easy. Pull back, Kelly. Are you ready? No. Okay. You ready? Here we go. Ready, set, one. This is really exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Two. Two and a half. Here we go. Three. And there they are, completely separated once more. To put them back together, Kelly, toss one up in the air. They'll fall together like that. And once more, you'll. That's amazing. <laughs> The young lady is a genius. Kelly, you've learned this trick faster than anyone I've ever met. I'm going to show you something with three rings now. I'm going to uh -oh. use my two and one of yours. Okay. So why don't you just pull yours apart again and hand me one. Either one, it doesn't matter. Here you go. Pretend. What's the matter? I can't do it. Excuse us a moment. Kelly's having a little trouble. That's right, Kelly. Here, hang on to that ring real tight with both hands. We'll pull them apart, you and I. Step back just a little bit. Not yet. Stand right there. Don't move. I am going to walk in this direction. On the count of three, Kelly, the rings come right apart. You and I are going to fool everyone. Okay. Don't tell them how we did it. Okay. Hang on tight. Here we go. Ready? One. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Tell you stand over there. Oh, You're okay. pulling too hard. Two. <laughs> three. And there they are. Kelly. <laughs> Look what you've done. Well, that's all right. It's okay. Come over here. Why don't you blow on him? But I don't want to spin again. <laughs> there. there you go. Look, that's four in a row, right? I'll collapse the ball on one ring, show you how easy it is to take them apart one at a time. Staying right here so you can see. Look, that's ring number four. This one's ring number three. Are these the two you're having a hard time with? Watch how easy it is. Now, all you have to do is give them a little twist like this. Blow gently, and they come apart just like that. <laughs> What'd you do to my rings, Kelly? Here, you blow on them, you put them together. There you go. You see how easy it is when you know how? Thanks for helping me out, Kelly. You were great. Take a little bow, okay? I want a big hand for the amazing Miss Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Your seat's over here. Thank you very much.
habit of popping up just when I need you. Uh, thank you. Uh, would you care to assist? Why not? Let's see if we can get things back together. <laughs>